A little while ago, I made a video on what to do when you're bored in GTA Online. But since you're watching this video now, it's pretty clear you're still bored. So today, we're going to be going over a couple more things that'll cure that boredom in GTA 5. I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. Your very first option is pretty obvious. Hop on Adios Airlines and get the hell out of the city for a little while. I guarantee there is one person watching this video that got a console or a PC, and all they've done is play GTA 5 and never touched any other game. There is a ton of games out there that are so much fun that I guarantee a lot of you guys would really love. Call of Duty, Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, FIFA, 2K. There's so many games out there that will honestly just cure your boredom. But at the same time, a lot of people try that and they get bored of those games and just kind of want to come back to GTA 5 because it is truly their favorite game. So if you don't want to leave, here are a couple things you could do. Go on the internet and buy yourself a beautiful dirt bike. I would highly recommend the BF400 because I think it is an outstanding motorcycle and it is a ton of fun to go off-roading with. So go and grab it, put some upgrades on it, and then take it straight out to Sandy Shores and just do a bunch of crazy flips and tricks. Now, this is something I personally love to do. I do it all the time, sometimes before I make a video, sometimes after I make a video, and then sometimes in GTA Online, I just grab my dirt bike and I just go and fly around the map. And when I mean fly, I mean you can actually fly on these bikes. If you put it at the correct angle when you're in the air, you can literally go from one side to the other side of the map. It'll definitely take some practice to get the hang of it, but once you do, it's honestly kind of cool. And of course, there's an entire dirt bike track in Sandy Shores. You'll see it. It's right near the prison. Just go over there and just ride around the track. Obviously, it's not as fun as off-roading in my opinion, but it is still pretty cool and you can have some fun races with your friends. And of course, you could go into creator mode and create your own race in this area or anywhere on the map and really have a lot of fun with it. Off-roading is something I like to do and I guarantee if you haven't done it in a while or you've never done it before, try it out and let me know how you enjoy it. You could also create a brand new character. I've done this before in many games like GTA Online and Destiny. In Destiny, for example, I made like four different titans, a couple hunters, and a couple warlocks as well, because I just had a blast with it, and I really, really loved that game. So if you really love GTA, and you've already gotten to level 120, you bought all kinds of cool crap, you can honestly just make a new character. And I'm debating about doing that on my main account right now, actually, because when I first started, I just bought a bunch of random crap, including the Luxor Deluxe. Now, of course, that was before the Nimbus came out, and I wish I never spent $10 million on it. So I could pretty much start from the beginning, do everything I want to, and now I won't make the mistakes of buying the stupid crap that I did back then. Now, of course, not everybody's going to be a fan of doing this, only if you are a true super fan of GTA Online and you cannot stop playing. And all you want to do is play more, why not make a new character and start from the beginning? Another thing you could do is go around the city and complete challenges, like try to complete every single single one of the gang attacks or complete every single one of the stunt jumps. Doing things like this will actually unlock certain things in game for you. I don't know every single thing you unlock, but I know completing certain stunt jumps and winning a certain amount of races will unlock more colors for you at the Los Santos Custom Shop. So if you haven't done this already, it's really not that hard and you can honestly have some fun with it. There's maps out there telling you the location of every single stunt jump, gang location, and many other things in games. So you could just go around the entire city and do that and then you'll unlock a bunch of stuff that you didn't have access to before. Honestly, it's not the most important thing in the world, but if you're bored, why not do it? This next one is something I've slowly started to get back into, and that's going to be Arena War. Yes, it's a fun game mode. There's a bunch of cool random crap you could do within it, but the thing is, you can unlock some sick-ass vehicles. For example, if you get to level 500, you unlock the Space Stalker, possibly the rarest vehicle in the game, but then if you get to level 1000, you unlock the Rusty Tractor, which is even more rare, but it's really garbage. Everybody just wants the Space Stalker because it looks sick. Imagine legitimately getting it, not getting it from a modder or anything like that, Actually having this vehicle in GTA Online is a huge flex. You pull up to a car show with that thing, and people are going to be like, damn, that guy is actually a GOAT. There are a few other things you can unlock through Arena War as well, but obviously the main thing is going to be the vehicles. Now, this is not an easy task, and it will take a lot of time. Only a few people in the world have been able to get to level 1000, and it has taken them a while. So if you want to do it, you got to put the work in, and if you do manage to make it all the way to level 500 and unlock the Space Stalker, you are a true legend. Another thing you could do when you're bored is play GTA 5 Story Mode. It's a bunch of fun and I'm assuming most of you guys out there probably got GTA 5 and started playing online instantly. When I first got GTA I wasn't even able to play online because PlayStation was hacked by Lizard Squad I think a very long time ago and the other time I actually ended up beating the entire story part of story mode because I had no internet. So if you haven't played story mode try to beat the actual storyline 
And if you've already done that, do side quests and random crap within the world. Like what I'm doing right here is stealing this lady's car back and then giving it to her. But of course, she didn't give me any money, so I shot her in the face and then lit her car on fire. There's a bunch of fun things to do in story mode. And as an added bonus, you can also unlock a lot of trophies playing story mode, which will bring me into my next point. If you're on PlayStation, try to get a platinum trophy in GTA 5. A lot of this stuff is very hard to do. You can see I'm only at 39% on my main account, and it took me a while to get there. Of course, I wasn't even trying to unlock trophies though. If you actually put your mind to it and try, you'll be able to unlock a lot of stuff and getting that platinum trophy is a huge flex for any game. Some games it's very easy to get, but other games like Rainbow Six Siege and GTA 5 of course, it's going to take you a very long time and I would highly doubt any one of you watching actually has completed every single trophy that is available for GTA 5. So if you're bored, why not do that? This next one I kind of mentioned in the last video and it's going to be RP. But I don't mean doing RP on console. If you have a PC, join an RP server because it's literally GTA 5, but way better in practically every way. Now, if you play on Rage multiplayer, Rockstar is kind of going after them using third party content. But on 5M, Rockstar really hasn't touched them yet. So there is still all kinds of cool real cars, real clothes and a bunch of other awesome stuff. So hop on 5M, play some RP and I'm telling you, you're gonna have a lot of fun. To end off the video, this is something I do all the time when I'm bored, and it's literally just going around killing everything. Go into the ghetto, kill everybody there. Then go into the city, kill everybody there. It's not obviously a permanent fix, because you're gonna end up getting bored of this as well, but I hope some of the other things that I mentioned in this video will allow you to cure that boredom. And if you haven't seen part one of this already, I will link it down below in the description, because like I said, there's a bunch of stuff you could do when you're bored in GTA 5. You just gotta use your imagination and then just have fun with it. And of course, if you're still bored at the end of the day, like I said at the very start, just play a different game. That'll honestly cure your boredom and hopefully you find something that'll make you happy. Anyways, that is gonna wrap the video up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.